Hey Crafty Family and Poodle Pack members. Um, today I'm going to talk about our challenge, which is challenge number six, and that is um, friendship hands. I'm going to call them friendship hands. The person who started this, I believe she started it, was Dawn over at Let's Make a Mess Today. That's her YouTube channel, so check it out. Um, but she called them boho hands, I believe. And I'm going to call them friendship hands because you don't have to make them boho. You can make them in any style you want to. But this is what we're going to do for our challenge. Now, if you were at the live stream, then you got to see me create these. And you probably created some along with me. The live stream is not up yet because there's a... I don't know. I was having a problem with it. Like, the parts of it were, like, messed up or had, like, weird audio. And I don't know if that was from my i think it was from the encoder maybe i don't know i was doing a lot of stuff that night with going on the internet and like looking up stuff and like so i may have you know messed that up so what i'm going to do is i figured i figured out i'm like well i can just download it and maybe adjust it or something or cut off the part that is kind of weird because it's like towards the end it's i don't know so it's sh you should it'll still be fine you'll still get the gist of it it just part of it won't isn't just not working right so i'll fix it and get it back up so i apologize that it's not up yet but either way um i will give you a quick rundown if you weren't there on how to make these but the video will be up later tonight or tomorrow i've got um i've got a uh a class i'm doing tonight with the patreon group so um it'll either be late tonight or that I get the the live stream that was from Tuesday up or it'll be tomorrow, but I think it'll just be late tonight. Anywho, so we took our mixed media mashup, which I'm sure if you have been around my channel long enough, you know that we do that on Monday, Monday, Monday nights. Can I speak today, please? Please, can I speak today? <laughs> Monday nights, and this week we did it Tuesday night because I had some things going on Monday. Um, so Tuesday night we did mixed media mashup. We used our backgrounds and then we put our hands on it and then we traced around our hand and cut it out. And I did one of them, I did like this because, you know, and so you could do it like a peace sign, you could do it and trace it out however you want. So do like a basic mixed media background, trace it out, uh, trace it, cut it out, and then you take it and you decorate it and you put like little bracelets and you could put little charms up. Excuse me, why do I always get a random hiccup in the middle of talking and only when I'm doing a video? Isn't that bizarre? Anyway, you can put little charms on it if you wish. Oops, that one fell off. I put it on so fast that I wasn't paying attention because I didn't have a jump ring around. And I wanted to put it on before I started doing this little video. So I didn't, I did a really crappy, very quick job of sticking this on so that it would look cute. Thinking, all right, I'll fix it when I'm done. But yeah, I was going to fix it better when I was done because yeah you know anyway that's better so you can do that you don't you don't have to do put little charms on it but you could make like you could take little trims and little things and make little bracelets and take little glass beads and make rings or take little filigrees and bend them little pieces of sequins whatever you can use your imaginations rhinestones whatever you want whatever style you want to do it in um if you don't have, you know, I, I I know that like some people, maybe Dawn was doing it where you took like scrapbook paper and traced your hand. I'm going to prefer that we do it in a mixed media style. Um, so, you know, do a mixed media background of some sort. Follow the prompt cards, the mixed media mashup cards, or just sit down and do a, a background messing around put throw some paint down and you know make a mixed media background we, you know we don't want to we want to put some work into this we want it to be a little bit you know mixed media we don't just want to you know put our hand on a piece of scrapbook paper which is done already for us we want to create the background in this this is where we are going to use our skills that we've been learning in mixed media mashup and just throughout learning how to do mixed media and put it to use and make our fun little hands um, so that's kind of one of the requirements is to make sure that you create the background, add texture, add stamping, add, you know, collaging and paint and make a mess and have fun with it. 
and then trace your hand on it and then add things like stickle glitter and add the, I have these little stars on here and stuff um, and like I said add the jewelry as if you're putting jewelry on it mine's very boho but I'm probably gonna make a couple that are shabby chic or maybe some steampunk ones you know so just do however you want the requirement is to make four so you're gonna make four hands which means two sets of hands basically you could do more than that if you want you are not limited on doing four I did four here but I'm gonna do more than four for sure so do as many as you want but at least do four and um oh I forget what I was gonna say oh yeah um do at least four and you're going to um send them out in the group to other poodle members of the group and yeah just do a little you know like we do with all our like we do with all our um challenges where you send them out to people in the group and put a little message on the back so you want to put a little encouraging message on the back you know it doesn't have to be a full-fledged letter you can actually have a separate piece of paper for that but on the back it's supposed to be like just an encouraging quote an encouraging little thing you know and then of course sign it or sign it on one of the fingers if you want sign it date it and put a little like encouragement here like you know some you know like i don't know your favorite quote or something so that's how that is going to go and you can choose to send you know one hand to four different people or you can choose to send two hands like a right and a left hand to a person and then send the other right and a left hand to another person or you could send one or you could send all four to one person if you really want to i you know i'm going to send one hand to four different people i'm actually multiple people more than four probably um so yeah so this is a fun way to, you know, put a little spin on Dawn's um, boho hands and we're going to call them friendship hands and yeah, reach out and shake someone's hand. That's wrong. I don't know. <laughs> Should be like this. There we go. Shake someone's hand today. I don't know. Anyway, so let's do these and have them sent out by October 1st. Okay, actually, no, wrong. Let's have them, we're gonna make it a little shorter this time, only because I wanna do an October challenge. Um, so let's do this, have them sent out by, and done and sent by September 25th. So that gives you a little bit less than 20 days, which I think is plenty of time, because if I was able to make four in one sitting and I just have to decorate these which doesn't take long then it shouldn't be hard in 20 days to come up with two sets of hands so 20 days 25th of September have them done sent out make sure you take pictures of them put them in in uh, I think how I'm doing it this time is as an event so I'm gonna link this video and I'm gonna make an event and link it and I think I'm going to see if we can put post pictures in the event. I can't remember if you could do that now. If not, I'll make an album in the photos of the group that will say challenge number five, friendship hands. And it's an album that I'm going to make. Um, and only me don't, don't anybody else make an actual album that says challenge number five, friendship hands and put your pictures in it put your pictures in my album that I'm going to make and on the cover of my album I will put pictures a picture of my boho hand my my boho style friendship hands so I'll do that and put a picture and make an album um, shortly after the live stream goes up because I am not gonna be able to do it right away but I'm gonna make an event and all that so the video is gonna go up but the event won't be up yet the, photo, the album will not be made yet, so if you worked on yours and you made them, hold on to your pictures for another 24 to 48 hours and let me work on some things because I've got a lot going on right now. So you can post them in the group if you want to show people, that's fine. But as far as putting them in the album that gets counted towards the giveaway, um, just hold on to them for a second and I will get the album up later tonight, okay? because I've got a lot of things going on right now today and I've got to get some things prepared and um, yeah, and I had, uh, and my body's kind of hurting today. So I'm gonna go lay down 
uh, for a while because my arthritis hurts and I want to be peppy and fun and, and be ready for my class tonight, um, which is at 7.30. So it'll be after the class, which will be a couple hours that I will be putting up the event and blah, blah, blah. So that's that. That's that. I don't know what else to say. Uh, yeah, the 25th um, album. I'm going to make it an event this time so that it'll be easier to find. Because a lot the other times, I don't know why I didn't think of that before. Because I've used the events in, when I was the admin in other groups. Not craft groups, but in my vape group and everything. I would do events all the time. But why I didn't think of making the challenges an event is beyond me. Because it makes it so much easier to find. And I don't know, my brain must have not been working, which it normally never is. So, uh, duh. Uh, so I'm going to make it an, it an event so that you can say whether you're growing. Go, if, you're, if you say that you're going to the event, that means you're participating in it. So if you're not participating in making the hands, then you wouldn't put that you're going to the event. So it's, this way it kind of gives us an idea of who's making the hands too. So it gives us a little bit of an idea. Um, Lindsay McKenzie was the winner of the challenge number five. Oh, wait, what is that? Yeah, challenge number five. This is challenge number six. Yeah, so she was the winner of challenge number five. Um, she did some beautiful work, and I, I feel like I'm leaving something out. I swear, I feel like I'm leaving something out. I don't know. Um, I was basically just going to do uh, some quick decorating on this hand. Um, this is just what the mixed media mashup background looked like was these three. I did two separate ones. I did this one and then I did the blue backgrounds. So, and then I have my leftover pieces, which is what's cool about this. If you do it on a large enough piece of paper, you'll have lots of leftover bits to make little tiles with, to make, you know, to add it. Like this looks like, like it's dripping. You know what I mean? So I can add this to another page. You know, you could get creative with it. You can add this stuff in, you know, in bits, cut it up, use it as collage, cut out an ATC here or there, cut out some little tiles. So this one, again, because it was on the hands, it looks kind of like it's dripping. So yeah, so use your imagination and use up your bits for sure. Don't throw them away. Um, you can also use some of your bits if you have like two different colors. Like I could take this color and cut this off and wrap it around as a ring so you could do stuff like that too um but as far as this goes i have a bunch of metals and filigrees that i can use to put on my hands but if you don't have this stuff you can use paper flowers or fabric flowers if you don't have those you can make them very easily there are plenty of videos to show you how to make anything you want to make so if you like thinking oh i i need i want to make some flowers just go on YouTube and look up how to make a basic paper flower and you will find tons and tons of things. Um, where was it? I wanted to put something on here and, oh, here it is. See, like I have this metal filigree and I would put it, not that one, but I'm going to put it on the back of this one here and glue it down or actually put a brad in the middle of it would be even better if I can find a brad without knocking everything over. Oh, I'm knocking things over. Hold on. Hold on, people. Every having an avalanche. I swear, this little roll of string is like the most annoying thing I own because there's nowhere to put it. Anyway, I'm just trying to find a damn Brad. Here's some. That'll work. It's not like I don't have Brads. It's just they're piled up in there and I can't get to them when I want to. Anyway, sorry, I'm not editing this video, so just deal. Just deal. Not editing today because I'm, I'm feeling a little in pain, so I want to kind of go lay down. So what I'm going to do, I want to play, believe me, but I definitely need to go lay down for a while for sure's, for sure'sies. So I'm going to poke a hole into my hand. I'm going to oh, get out of there, jackass. Get a piece of crap. I'm going to put a sparkly brad and and there we go. We've got a spinning little filigree. 
so you don't have to glue them down if they've got a hole in them you can just do that let's see what else I got um, you can do all kinds of things you can oh. I have this little gold round one which would go there really nice and I could put another brad on that because it's got a hole in the center if I have a small enough brad in here which I may or may not oh that one would match too I wonder if it'll go through the hole you can obviously glue them down too I would use if you're doing metal I would definitely use um well no no, no. Fabri-Tac um that's this glue, glue. this will glue metal to paper and stuff but if you're using fabric or paper you can just use hot glue you can use hot glue but I wouldn't use hot glue with the metal because it'll pretty much come off there we go and there's our little pinky ring and let's see what else we got a hot mess today. Do I have anything else? Probably snot. I probably have a flower up here. Oh wait, you know what? I might have a flower in here. Actually, they're all brown. I don't really want a brown flower. But this blue one would look really pretty on here. So more than one no. and then put like a gem in the middle and that one can be like on the wrist I might do something like that for the wrist of this one but we're working on this one so I'm going to get a a fleur um let's see man I am just a walking avalanche today good lord <sighs> Let's see, do I have, no, of course I don't have one on hand. I have to reach up into the depths of my, what color is that, orange? Ooh, I might have an orange flower here. Okay, I do an orangey colored flower kind of this one can go right there on that finger and since my heat gun is not heated up I'm going to use my aliens and see you can make them they don't have to be you know they can be kind of dimensional you can make them however you want as long as you don't mind sending them out like that now if you're going to send them and you don't have I mean it won't cost very much to throw these in a little bubble envelope and send them maybe two dollars so don't think you're gonna have to spend a lot of money if you want to ship over net in over national that's a word if you want to ship international I would definitely keep them flat and maybe put like things like filigrees and this and that but not do like three-dimensional flowers like i'm doing you know uh maybe shy away from the three-dimensional things which i wish i had my hot glue on because i'm probably gonna need to hot glue that because it's not sitting very flat but come on anywho that's not gonna sit very flat i wish i had hot glue ready but i don't have it at the ready so, oh well. And then, um, let's see, what else do I have? What's in here? What else do I have? Uh, I feel like, um, I, feel, I feel under pressure. And whenever I feel under pressure, I never do a good job of anything. I'm pretty useless under pressure when I'm crafting. <laughs> I'm good under pressure with other things, but not crafting. Okay, let's see what I got in here. Because I always feel like I'm trying to find something and then I never find anything. Well, I could even use that because it's orange and it would look cute. <laughs> you could decorate it with whatever you want, honestly. 
as long as you put effort into it and you don't, you know, make it look like, as long as it doesn't look like you just did whatever. And so I might use that as a bracelet and put like something connecting it and then do a bracelet up here and a bracelet there, which I got to grab my stuff because I left it over here. I left my lace over here. So if I want to do this, this has got a paper background so I can glue this down. But this has got like a little orange and red tree on it. So I think that would look really cute right there as the bracelet. And uh, actually we'll do it as the low down here bracelet. I know we'll do it up here because then I could put a little trim here. And then what I'm going to do is make like, I have like these tiny trims here that I keep in this little bin here. And what I could do is take it like this is part of the bracelet, which I'm going to have to cut that off. Where are my scissors? It would help if I had scissors laying around. But you get creative and you just pretend like you're putting jewelry on a hand, which is basically what you're doing. You're putting jewelry on a hand, so you're going to want to... Um, definitely get creative because obviously it's not a real hand, it's a paper hand. But you want to put jewelry on it as if it was a real hand, kind of. I'll show you something else you can do in a minute as soon as we're done with this one, this part. I'm hoping that'll stay. I should have gotten my hot glue gun on, but I'm stupid. And there's no point now. All right, so we're going to use a clothespin. Don't you love when you're filming and things don't work out? That's always the best hot glue. Best way to hold down lace and stuff on things. If I turn it on now, it still ain't going to make a difference. I, I, I'm a big user of hot glue. I hate using regular glue for laces and trims, like to the point where I just hate it. Cannot stand using it. And, you know, that's why I'm a big user of hot glue. And I don't understand people that don't use hot glue for things like that. Because it literally will never come off. So, especially if you're using fabric to paper, fabric to fabric, hot glue will never fail you. That is the truth, too. I have so many things I've made, you know, 15 years ago, and it's never come apart. Of course, you can use fabric tack, um, but Aileen's is not the best glue for this. But I'm running out of fabric tack, so I don't want to use it. I'm trying to get this to sit straight, but it's just not cooperating. Anyway, I'm going to move on to another hand, but you get the, the gist for the next part, because it's frustrating and I might not be able to do it because well I have fabric tech I'll use that for the metal anyway I'm sorry I'm just completely not prepared because I always try to keep my stupid glue gun off so that I don't start a fire and walk away because I have a tendency to walk away from it and leave it on all day so I had it off and I didn't think to turn it on because I forgot that I was going to actually do anything so yeah so anyway if you don't have much in because I hear people say all the time I don't have this I don't have that and instead of saying you don't have something go look for what you do have and stop saying I don't have I don't have because everybody's got junk I promise you there is not a person out there that does not have junk I guarantee you especially if you're a woman if you go into your room you are gonna find some costume jewelry that you have that you have not worn in five years and if you've not worn it in five years then take that ish out and go through it and pull all the crap out that you don't wear anymore. And here you go. You have plenty of stuff to use in your mixed media projects right here. This is stuff that I've had. I have all kinds of little charms hanging off necklaces, rings, earrings, broken earrings, stuff you don't wear anymore. Get it out of your bedroom and get it into your craft room because it's this type of stuff that you can use to make jewelry for your, for your, you know, for your mixed media. 
So, you know, it's not only that, not just jewelry, but literally anything that you have or your husband has or your boyfriend has laying around that he doesn't use anymore. Little tools, little nuts and bolts and screws. I promise you they will work just fine. You can find uses for them in mixed media big time. So please don't say, I don't have anything. Start searching through your house, girl, because I promise. Because if I walked into your house, I can put money on it that I'll find. I will definitely find things. So I know you'll find things. Because when I first started doing mixed media, I used to find things out of the waste pile of my dad's business. And I would turn that into art. And it was just garbage. And I'm trying to unclip this so it's not pointy. Okay. Oh, I want it that way. Yeah, I think I want it that way. So it's not an excuse to say I don't have anything because that's a lie. Everybody has junk jewelry. Everybody has it. And if you're not, if you haven't worn it in like two years, then it's time to put it to good use in your craft room where you can enjoy using it for something else. That's just the way it should be. And if you, you know, use all your junk jewelry up, go ask your mom, go ask your sister, go ask your neighbor. Do you have any junk jewelry you're not using? And they'll probably be like, yeah. And if they do, snatch it from them and be like, can I have it? Because I'm sure they'll give it to you. Because, you know, I, I had clients who I would tell them, if you ever have junk jewelry, costume jewelry you're not using... You know, like when I cleaned houses, I would tell them, if you ever have junk jewelry you're going to throw away, don't ever throw any broken jewelry away. Give it to me. And they have. They've, they would save things for me and give me things to use for my crafts. I could take the jump, the little jump rings off of here and save them. Because all jewelry has, most costume jewelry has a ton of jump rings and stuff on it. Um, I was always big into costume jewelry, so I would get it and... And then that would be my down the road when I didn't want to use it anymore. This is what I use. Oh crap. <laughs> that literally went into my water bucket. That was a good shot if I was trying. It literally went into my water bucket. I mean these are like tarnished and but that's okay because you know what? I can make it look like new by taking some metallic rubs and I can make it look, you know, it's all tarnishy. That's fine. I'll just go like this and make it look kind of gold. You can use metallic paint to do the same thing. Make it look more gold looking. I can add a little copper to it. just there we go good enough so use your imagination I guarantee you you will find things to use for mixed media I, I'm just I get tired of hearing people say I don't have I don't have this I don't have that I don't believe that because if I have this and if I've always had this and half the time I never have any money to buy a damn thing nine times out of ten in my life and if I'm always able to come up with stuff and I'm not talking about oh well yeah I know because since I have my channel people sometimes send me happy mail no 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 I don't mean from happy mail I mean from my own crap from the crap that has been accumulating in my life because <laughs> you know we all go to that's another thing too go to yard sales go to flea markets when you go to those places, be on the lookout for junk jewelry. Be on the lookout for, doesn't be vintage jewelry. I collect vintage jewelry, jewelry that I had gotten deals on, but that's not all I collect. I go after just junk jewelry in general. Whether it's vintage or current, I go after it. And the, and the current stuff is cheaper. And sometimes that's the best stuff. Because you get like, you know, a lot of cool pieces to use. So you definitely don't need... 
fancy nothing. You don't need to buy nothing. But you do need to keep washing your hands if you keep getting glue all over them. Goodness. So let's see what else we got here. I've got this. That would look cool. And I'll use Fabri-Tac, I suppose. Hopefully get that to stay on. I am running out of Fabri-Tac like crazy. I may have to uh, ask Chris to pick some up for me on his way home. Because I literally have about that much at the end of the bottle. And I use this stuff like crazy. I use it like crazy. I use it almost as much as I use my Aileen. Not quite as much, but almost. I'm going to need a you-know-what. I am really making a mess. Holy crap. I've been trying to clean up my desk, and all I'm doing is making a giant mess. Don't you love that? I'm, I'm being like Dawn. Let's make a mess today. She's the one that started all this with these hands. So I'm getting in the true spirit of things. I'm always making a damn mess, though. That shouldn't be... That should be just my name. Make a mess. Messy. Messy Bessie. I clean up, you know... Good. That's because I stay on top of it, otherwise I'd be in big trouble if I didn't. Okay, so I'll use clothespins. Well, that's the way to do it. Use the clothespins, and those clothespins are cheapy from the dollar store. Let's see, why don't we use some pink something or other here. Uh, let's use a piece of this if I can get it open. Who knows? Let's put this weird tape on things. Tigger snoring. Just making a mess. Oh my. My baby wipes are piled underneath a bunch of stuff, so don't have that to fall back on. Anyway, I think I think you guys get the drift of what I'm doing. Anyway, I'm not gonna keep you forever because Although I may put this on, on the rest here. I don't know. Um, I'm not going to keep you forever. I just wanted to work on that for a few minutes and get it started. Just to show you and talk to you about what's going on. And hopefully you will enjoy doing this. Because they are a lot of fun. I really like doing them. Um, so yeah. I hope you will give it a try. And, and get involved in the challenge. If you have no idea what I'm talking about. About the group or anything. In my description there will be a link to a Facebook group called the Pink Poodle Pack Crafty um, Playground. And it's a Facebook group where anybody is welcome who is creative and likes to craft and do any kind of creativity, whether drawing or even digital art. I don't care. If you want to come and be a part of the group, that's cool. Um, and we're doing a challenge, and we try to do it like every month, where we do a challenge and we all work on something and then we send it out to each other just randomly to people in the group and it's a lot of fun and I um yeah totally need to come join it's a lot of fun we have a blast so 
if you know don't be shy come in and you know say hello and you will meet a lot of really really nice people and it's a lot of fun so don't forget to um you can get started on them even before i get the event up get started on them and then um as soon as you know i get the event up and wherever the I'll let you know where the photos are going to go and then you can start putting your photos in and you know obviously sending out your little friendship hands and that's it i hope you guys have a great rest of your week make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed um and give this video a thumbs up if you don't mind and yeah if you know anybody who'd be interested in joining in on this challenge and have a good time and they you think they might want to join the group um share this video with them so that they know to come join the group it's free and it's fun and i swear we don't bite hard um <laughs> have a good rest of your day and um make sure you check out the links in my description there's a link to my patreon if you're interested in joining in on some of those live classes and supporting my channel i would appreciate it so that will be a lot of fun um so yeah there's links in the description check those out subscribe like all that good stuff and make sure you do what you love and love what you do and be nice to people and I'll talk to you soon.